I call Miss Eva Taylor. I'm just sweltering in this Hillsborough sun. I'm just hot as can be. I'm just back off of me. Thank you. The territory calls Mrs. Eva Taylor, please. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm much obliged. Your Honor. Lovely entrance, ma'am. Counsel, Catherine. Very nice. Do you uh, mind if I put my umbrella right here? You may put it wherever you like. Thank you. Fetch it for me. Uh, I will get so that, high. yes. Dear me. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ah, your name, please, ma'am. I am Mrs. Eva Taylor. Uh, of course you are. Uh, Mrs. Taylor, were you traveling on the road between Luna's Well and La Luz on January 1st, 1896? Why, yes, I was. Yes, sir. Uh, how did you come to be traveling just then? Well, I live in La Luz. I come that morning. Oh, pardon me, just for a moment, please. Everything okay? The lady keeps her hat on. Uh, I came that morning to Luna's Well by way of the stage. My worthless husband, he's a drunkard. Oh, dear me. He was supposed to meet me at Luna's Well and take me home. Uh. He never showed. Mr. Taylor, he's just a... He's just a terrible drunkard. Uh, terrible. Uh, All he does is drink himself silly. I'm s so sorry, Mrs. Taylor. And how did you get home? Well, naturally, I was worried sick when that worthless man did not show. Well, of course you were. Worthless Walter. That's what I call him. And I, I thought the family knew. <laughs> uh, yeah, can you strike that, please? I don't want that to stick on the record. Miss Taylor, would you please just answer the questions? Well, it's your courtroom, Your Honor, so yes, yes sir. I'll be much obliged. Continue, Counselor. I was asking how you, uh, how did you get home? Well, as I was saying, okay, I was worried sick, and I asked the mail carrier, uh, if you would give me a ride home, back uh, to La Luz. Did mail carrier agree to do so? Why, yes, he did. He knows my husband. He knows what a worthless, worthless drunk he is. I think we all do by now. Yes, well, <laughs> strike that, please. Mr. Guerra. Uh, Mr. Uh, Guerra. Oh, yes, I apologize. Mr. Guerra. Yes, that's right. He took me in his buckboard, bounced all the way home with the mail he was taken to La Luz. Bounced all the way home. I suppose that was a sight. I'm much obliged. Thank you. <laughs> what time did you leave Luna's well? Well, as near as I know, it was around 6 o'clock in the evening. And was it dark by then? Well, I should say so. <laughs> yeah, well, did anything catch your attention while traveling to La Luz? Yes, it did. I saw, I seen way out in the distance, uh -huh. a bright campfire burning way off out there across that desert. How far would you say it was? Well, I judge it to be about rightly 10 miles away. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Taylor. Thank you. Thank you, Counselor. No, certainly. Uh, here's your umbrella. You may be excused. Uh, Not quite yet, what, Counselor. What? Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Thank you for fetching that. Yes, you're welcome. Miss Taylor, well, don't you know it's impossible to see a fire ten miles away? Mr. Fall, I do beg your pardon, sir. Like I told Counsel Catherine, I judge to be about ten miles away. I'm sitting here with my Bible, my right hand on it. Well, in that case, I have no more questions, Your Honor. <laughs> Mrs. Taylor, you are certainly excused. Well, I do appreciate your time this morning, Your Honor. Yes, Thank you for your kind. Would you fetch my umbrella? There you are. Oh, counsel. Yes. Have a lovely afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Much obliged. Much obliged. Ladies and gentlemen, would you? Oh, thank you so 
But a charming lady. I think I'm going to give this to you, Mr. Lee. You love me. More than I love you. If she ever leaves, I'll continue. <laughs>